Hello guys, welcome back to another video, wherever you are, special greetings to you. And don't forget if today is your first time, please do me a favor by subscribing to the channel. Also, don't forget to hit on the notification bell whenever we drop video, you can also get it and watch. In today's video, we are going to be talking about Matteo Salvini trials, his 15 years jail that he is going to risk because the open arms is insisting that this man have to go or this man must face the jail so guys without wasting my time let's do this thing together yeah guys as i said before we are here to look at matteo salvini trials the way the open arms they are saying this man must face or this man must go to jail yesterday he was in palermo you know the cases are two the other one is the uh, nave gregoretti that one is a rescue ship of uh, italy so that is the one organization none of the organization ong of uh, italy and then the open arms is a uh, is a um, is a spain or uh, ngo so a spain ngo and then the italian ngo so he is having two cases one is catania and the other one is in palermo i think the catania one he'll be going on another trial for on the on may i think 14th or 15th of may or so uh, one of the dates he'll be going and then for uh, for palermo that he went yesterday he'll be going back for the uh, last trial or the final trial on the 15th of september this year so on palermo he'll be going back on the 15th of september and then after the court if you see the way this man is speaking you can see that he is worried and then he know that this time around he must face the prison or he must go to jail because now the open arms they are insisting that this man must go to uh, prison as I said before in previous video, I reported about this trials of this Matteo Salvini. Uh, they told the court or his lawyer told the court that uh, they left the immigrants on top of the sea for one day or two days. So if one day that is 24 hours and if two days that is uh, 48 hours. And as I said before, it can be normal for them leaving you on top of the sea for 48 hours. That is two days to look for secure port or to look for places to send you guys because i remember some people even do spend two three days in the rescue ship before they transfer or before they get down from the rescue ship and then they make the transfer so now the court realized or the open arm said it was not two days or one day as they are claiming but they rather left the immigrants on top of the sea for good six days so if you calculate 24 hours times six so that, that is going to be a lot of hours and uh, just say it's about one week so this is where the court is trying to i mean get the final solution as jailing this matteo salvini to 15 years imprisonment and to me or to what i think is uh, jailing this man it's not going to be something that is going to, I mean, favor immigrants because they are not going to say because we have jailed Matteo Salvini, we should give documents to immigrants. You know, we know Matteo Salvini has let a lot of immigrants suffer, but uh, we shouldn't pray that he should, go to, he should go to jail. They said if someone do something bad to you, you don't pay in return with bad things because prison is somewhere that you don't even pray that your enemy should go i don't know if some of you are getting agree with me or some of you are understanding the point i'm making here because for him going to prison it's not they are not going to say because he is in prison we should give we should give documents to all immigrants we know he treated a lot of immigrants bad but during the same time a lot of immigrants got documents during the same time so we should pray that he should continue to live to see our success because he is saying we cannot survive so he should we should pray that he should continue to live to see our success what he is thinking that we cannot do we can do it and he will see and then at the end of the day he will be feeling shy that hmm, these immigrants that i said they couldn't they would they wouldn't have able to get documents now look at them they have their documents they have their job they have their houses they are living good you understand so for him going to prison i don't see it to be something that is going to i mean favor immigrants and then more to the point this is uh, the result or this is the fault of our african leaders if like they make the place good for each and everyone to live i don't think we would have wrecked our life to the mediterranean sea and then the minister of interior of uh, the account they will be going to jail because of illegal immigrants because that is how 
they call us. But let's go and watch the first video of uh, Al Jazeera where they reported this Matteo Salvini uh, case. And when we are back, we will, I will play the same video or another video of Matteo Salvini where you can see that this time around, this man knows that everything has come to an end. He don't have any hope again, but he still says he has hope. But I don't think if you see the way he talks or if you see the way he speaks, you will know that this man don't have any hope again. So guys, let's watch the Al Jazeera video and we are back. We will give you the rest of the update. So stay. Former Italian Interior Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Matteo Salvini has been ordered to stand trial. The right-wing League Party leader has been charged with kidnapping in a case involving a ship carrying refugees and migrants in 2019. Let's go live now to Al Jazeera's uh, Rory Challens, who's in London. Rory, tell us more about this. Yeah, there are two very similar uh, cases uh, currently open uh, against Salvini, and uh, they both relate to uh, very similar events where ships were held off the coast of Italy uh, back in 2019, the summer of 2019. Uh, now, one of them was a Spanish NGO ship called the Open Arms, and the other was an Italian Coast Guard ship called the Gregoretti. Uh, both of them uh, held uh, many, many uh, migrants who'd been rescued out at sea, and uh, under Salvini's uh, government, or the government that Salvini was a part of at the time, those ships were basically kept off the coast of uh, uh, the Italian uh, coastline, while his government basically tried to get Europe uh, to take more of these immigrants and agree, um, share the burden of uh, immigrants within the European Union. Now, uh, the open arm ship, the Spanish NGO ship, that's the one where the judge has said that, yes, this, there is a case for Salvini to answer and that this should go to, war, to trial. A week ago, in the other one, the Gregoretti, a prosecutor, a state prosecutor, said, actually, no, there isn't a case to answer and this shouldn't go towards trial. That has yet to be uh, ruled on by a judge, uh, to decide whether it will or not go to trial, and that will happen in a few weeks' time. Now, Salvini himself has said that at the time he was only doing what was in Italy's national interest uh, and that uh, this imperative to get European countries to share more of the immigrant burden was uh, something that he would do again. You know, he, he says he, he's, he's not repentant or regretful of this. He says that at the time he was... Uh, basically endeavouring to restore uh, Italy's dignity and its sovereignty. Live there in London, Rory, many thanks indeed. I've seen the video that is the Al Jazeera report of this Matteo Salvini case. And as I said before, it is the open arms that are insisting that this man have to go to jail because he has sit on the rise of immigrants he don't have to or he shouldn't have he shouldn't have treated immigrants this way so so far as he treated immigrants this way they are insisting that he have to go to jail so that to be example or he will be a scapegoat to all the interior ministers of europe guys it's not easy at all and as i said before let's go and watch his video where he said he is not uh, worried about what is going to happen if he even goes to prison but he is sorry for his children maybe the, his children will go to park and then they will be saying uh, they, they will be saying your father will be going to prison next week your father rates prison your father will go to prison that is what he is feeling sorry for uh, his children and then you know sometimes if you are doing something you need to look forward i think when matthew salvini came to power and he was saying all immigrants must go back to their country there was this uh, students uh foreigner i mean immigrant children who goes to school with the italian uh, children so sometimes they'll be telling them ah why is it that you are still here matthew salvini is saying you guys should go back to your country but now see you know it has turned People will be telling your children that your father will be risking a prison. Your father will be going to prison next week. That one is your worry now. So, as I said before, but I don't pray that he should go to prison. As I said before, if he goes to prison now, it does not change anything for immigrants. Because so far as or since he was even in power, people were getting documents. And now people are still getting documents. If it is your time, you are going to get the document. Even if Matteo Salvini is the prime minister of Italy. It doesn't matter. 
it, the, the only thing that matters is time that God said you are going to get document, you are still going to get the document if Matteo Salvini is even the Prime Minister of Italy. So guys, let's go and watch his video. And then one thing that I'm still forgetting, but let me add it here before we go and watch the video. You know, for this reopening of Italy on the 26th of April, I think it is the pressure of Matteo Salvini that Mario Draghi came out and gave the date. For this credit, I have to give it to Matteo Salvini because he is the one who pushed uh, this kind of op reopening of Italy and then finally they gave a date on the 26th of uh, April 2021. I think he even said it in the video I am going to show you guys. So let's go and watch the video and we are back. We'll give you the rest of the update. So stay tuned. I'm still happy for having contributed to contribute a sequestrare millions of Italians with the choice of yesterday. That the next week they will return to a life normale, a scuola, all'università, al bar, al ristorante, all'oratorio, al campo sportivo, uh, in associazione di volontariato. Ecco, passare per sequestratore proprio no. È ridicola solo l'idea. È ridicola solo l'idea. Eh, mi spiace per i miei figli, perché dovrò spiegargli che il papà non rischia la galera domani mattina e che settimana prossima, il sabato, a Dio piacendo, sarà il parco giochi con loro, questo mi spiace. Poi ho agito da padre e cristianamente sopporto, al di là di quello che si è deciso in quest'aula, che ha un sapore politico più che giudiziario, io ricordo a me stesso che si tratta di una nave spagnola che ha raccolto immigrati in acque libiche, in acque maltesi, ha rifiutato uno sbarco a Malta, ha rifiutato un porto in Spagna, ha rifiutato un secondo porto in Spagna e ha rifiutato perfino l'arrivo di una nave militare spagnola. Ma di cosa stiamo parlando? Quanto costa questa indagine? Quanto costa ai contribuenti italiani questo processo politico? Chi pagherà? Sono domande che mi faccio da libero cittadino. Poi se mi dite se vado a casa preoccupato no, no, se avessi qualcosa da temere sarei preoccupato. Commenti, l'ha scritto Palamara, l'ha scritto Palamara, io penso che nei prossimi mesi gli italiani potranno assistere a chi interpreta la giustizia alla Palamara, ovvero sia Salvini ha ragione, però bisogna fermarlo e processarlo, e i tanti uomini di legge che invece sono realmente liberi e indipendenti e conto di incontrare alcuni di questi sulla mia strada qualcuno che non abbia pregiudizi politici è stata una battaglia politica sostenuta da alcuni partiti e questa non è ONG che si occupa di soccorso questa è una ONG che fa politica punto e in tribunale ci confronteremo su questo, perché io i voti li ho presi dagli italiani. Questo comandante spagnolo non è stato eletto da nessuno, magari si candiderà in Spagna e verrà eletto in Spagna. Però è assurdo solo pensare al contrario che una nave italiana, con bandiera italiana, con un comandante italiano, potesse pretendere di andare a Palma di Mallorca e trovasse un tribunale spagnolo che indagasse il ministro spagnolo che gli dicesse ma vai a casa tua ai bandiera italiana va in Italia, cioè siamo veramente, ci ride dietro mezzo mondo, cioè ci ride dietro mezzo mondo, viene processato un ministro dell'interno che ha applicato la norma e ha difeso il suo paese, non pretendevo le medaglie, ma un processo, quanto tempo perderemo Giulia, boh, quanti sabati. Guys, I hope you have seen the video, as I said before, uh, this is my point of view of Matteo Salvini going to prison and then if you do not agree with me you can still let me know in the comment section below and if you also agree with me you can also let me know in the comment section below i am not saying i know best but i am trying to share my point of view for matteo salvini going to prison and then if you also have anything you can let us know in the comment section below we are here to learn we are not here to i mean insult anyone we are not here to say we know better than anyone but we are still learning if you put something and it is learnable i will try to learn it over there this is the update i have for you today the name remains official cracker on youtube official cracker on facebook official underscore cracker one on instagram if you have any question please drop it there and then i will give you reply over there till we meet again in the next video happy sunday please stay safe and stay blessed peace out